everyone welcome back and thank you for watching another one of my grocery shopping haul videos hey everybody just saying hello you see all the stuff I still have to um, organize clean all kind of stuff hey hey hello my spirit boosters how you guys doing today well today I'm still trying to fix the pantry this is no joke this stuff hard work I got this second shelf from the top the top is is a just still a disaster I'm still working on the shelf where I have my glory green collection and then I realized I have some of that Margaret Holmes uh, canned goods. I got the tomato, okra, and corns. Um, I'm not used to that brand. Or the Glory, really. But since it's now in my area, I'll be purchasing it. And, yes, I am still uh, over here organizing my canned goods on my pantry shelf. This shelf that you guys are looking at right now with the glory greens on and stuff um, is pretty well um, stocked. This what is this is what's on this shelf. Uh, and the cracks up there, as you can see, I try to um, fit some span, but I think some of them span cans are different sizes. That bacon span fits up in that crack better than the turkey in that hickory smoke. I think that bacon spam can is smaller. Anyway, that's what I'm shoving up in the corner, the cracks. Because I had uh, enough room for two stacks, but right above, it's just enough room for something small. Like I can put, like you see the roast beef cans up there, or I can put tuna cans up there. And I was first, right there, as you can see, putting some noodles, stuck in, st stuffing noodles up in those in the little small space so yeah ladies gentlemen take advantage of the small spaces put something small up in those cracks <laughs> so yeah just sharing uh, another little part of the pantry shelf you see my glory greens I got red beans and rice corn cream corn collard greens mustard greens mixed greens Popeye chopped spinach I got Priscilla sweet potatoes. I like those yams. I just candy them. They are delicious. I got sun. What is that on the end? I got the sun Vista pinto beans. I got the bush large butter beans because I told y'all that's for oxtails. <laughs> and I have some enchilada, La Victoria enchilada sauce. I have some Kroger sweet peas and carrots. I love that vegetable sweet peas and carrots mixed together. Y'all like that? Let me know in the comments. I got some good and gather uh, cream style golden sweet corn. I got some a whole bunch of sliced peaches. You guys um, remember I have the hormel tamales, beef and chili sauce, and beef and chili sauce. I have some bushes black eyed peas. I have some Bruce Bruce's yams, and I have some Del Monte fresh cut diced new potatoes and you see I have the roast beef up there in the spam and then this other shelf up here I have some canned goods being delivered today and uh, I know some of y'all think oh lord you need to get in a delivery day I hope it ain't no drama me either but today it's not um, the delivery today is not uh, um, that kind of delivery this is like um, a different type of delivery so um, no problem with these people so I'll just say it that way so everything is cool I will not have any um, problems with my deliveries today <laughs> but I do want to say also okay so this is um, me just sharing the pantry I guess this is a semi tour of a still cluttered unorganized pantry but so far we got some organization going on right here in the center 
anyway yeah i do got some more cans goods covered today and so that's what inspired me to get up and try and fix this shelf because i got to get this stuff on the shelf and get it off the floor and uh straighten this place up because it's a hot mess all around here all this stuff all these products but i am prepared i'm preparing i'm getting ready i am sort of kind of ready because i have the canned goods because if you don't have a garden to grow fresh veggies, people, get you some canned veggies. Like those greens are delicious. Yams, potatoes, peas, fruits, all kind of veggies you can get in a can. Don't let the um, the gardener, <laughs> the gardener people make you feel bad or shame you or make you feel guilty because you don't have nothing fresh growing in your garden. Forget them folks. So what? good that they got all that stuff but listen you and me we ain't got that so we got to get some cans and we ain't shame of these cans because we know what's in that what's contained in these cans are very very delicious products just delicious tasting food that will feed our families and get their tummies full and they're gonna be so satisfied and so grateful for us for providing some food even though it's not all fresh and dainty like the gardener people so, excuse me. So, don't you guys worry. Just go out there and collect you some canned goods. And shout out to all the canned good collectors. <laughs> and shout out to all my spirit boosters that lift my spirit, made me feel good, make me happy that you are supporting this channel and liking the content that I am putting out. Sometimes being a prepper ain't easy, but you guys know what the times we live in, stuff you might have to go through. But don't be discouraged. Push through. Think of the happy stuff that you're going to be doing. Like, this is making me happy. Looking at all my beautiful, colorful canvas. <laughs> and knowing that I have also... Okay, I'm go, I'm about to show you guys. I'm taking too long with this. But I'm about to show you the, um, the broth that I have. Because, you know, the water... I don't know. The water is kind of funny. I, I told y'all in the last... In a, in a, a previous video that it was something wrong with the water i hope y'all checked out to see if something wrong with y'all water <laughs> but hey i got enough bottled water but i'm you know allegedly i don't know about yeah i'm still literally about this water i told y'all y'all just gotta check that video if y'all see a title about some water just check that video out and y'all know what i'm talking about but anyway i got the chicken bro but hey just pray over your food and just hopefully a lot of stuff ain't as contaminated or not contaminated and we could just not um, be put fear in your heart about getting sick by eating some of the food that's not um, safer or um, is up to part. Because if the scientists are worried, hell, I guess we should be worried too. <laughs> but anyway, let me take y'all over here and show y'all my... Um, my broths that I have that I got to make a room on the shelf for that. Everything got to re be reorganized in here. Everything has been like I'm removing stuff that I had on the shelf for one eye product. I got to move it out and put and get it straightened out. You guys, eventually you'll see. But check out my previous videos and you'll see where my shelves are. I'll just throw in a picture of some uh, how I had it, the shelves organized before. The disaster I made today okay so hold on guys okay guys here is my um, broth stock collection and you ask why do you have that can of early California olives in back there well it's ridiculous because my husband we were having enchiladas one day and he thought that we didn't have any olives. Can you believe that? All the canned goods I'm over here <laughs> stocking up on my husband. I don't know. Well, he's not involved in me stocking the pantry. He might do a little something, something but I guess he didn't realize that we have olives. Yes. 
Your wife stocked up on olives, and he bought that can thinking we didn't have any. I just shook my head. But anyway, that's why that's up there. Tell y'all that little story. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, after I shared with you what I was doing over there on the pantry side, here I am now sharing the vegetable chicken beef broth um, stock pile that I have collected so far and if the date they have several different dates on here but it expires the latest one is September 22 but anyway if doom days <laughs> doom day if doomsday gets here before that date at least I'll have something to mix with my vodka <laughs> have y'all ever tried broth in your vodka well people put tomato juice in vodka so I guess some broth wouldn't hurt it <laughs> so yeah like I was telling y'all over there by the pantry about the water I told y'all had a previous video out about the polluted water uh, where did I hear it? I said it allegedly it was on America, Good Morning America, and the scientists are very, very, very concerned and worried about polluted water. So what do I do? Stock up on something else that's liquid form that might also be tainted. <laughs> I don't know, allegedly, allegedly, because um, I'm sure water's in a lot of stuff. But anyway, all I can say is you pray over your food and believe your prayers and you maybe you will be all right because who knows nobody know you don't know when your day is coming so and just enjoy yourself but like i say i don't know that water got me a little leery i don't know i don't know but anyway i still been watching people's videos talking about the, in certain areas well anyway you guys do know they do have the limits on the toilet paper and the water like in these big major uh, warehouse stores like Costco, Sam's Club. Sam's Club go, had a nerve online to put a limit on the toilet paper in the water. Wait, is it? No, uh, this is the toilet paper. But if you go in the store, I guess it's limit. You only, because I guess, I don't know, they spread and stuff out. And people are buying stuff. They need to be buying stuff because you don't know when the doom day comes. Doom day could be just the pandemic just is so bad that people dropping like flies literally it just and then that new one the mu one shoot so i don't know i guess folks if you don't know no better you don't know no better it's too late when you do realize you should have done um some stocking up something but yeah as y'all can see with my broth, let me get back to the topic of this share right here. It's me just collecting broth, some other liquid besides water. Oh, I had a little accident, y'all, but I'm back. But also, I've collected some juice. Just something else besides water. Because if water go bad, <laughs> you definitely going to need something to quench your thirst, so yeah get some i'm getting juice i'm not telling grown folks how to run their business no more but i just mentioned here and now and then you need to stock up check out some of these videos with people talking about all look all the empty shelves people getting this they're getting that well those are the smart people they're probably just people just got filling up their pantries other folks that aren't too concerned won't be thinking about getting more than what they need to make a meal that day or how much toilet paper they need to wipe their butts for the week they're not thinking about um stocking a pantry because they don't believe that we're in any kind of trouble <laughs> a lot of folks don't even watch the news even though some people don't believe what's on the news but some of the news does in and has all those things are going on and ha are happening because on the news they shared the tornadoes and the, all those disasters going on affecting everybody's life 
all that stuff happened. Some people say, oh, don't believe the news. But why you can't believe the news? You just seen on the news all the people died after that terrible storm. Look what happened in New York, all that flooding. That was so odd and strange and creepy to see all that water flooding down in that subway. I've never been to New York, but after seeing that, I don't know, I would be kind of leery and um, disturbed about going underground after seeing that kind of stuff. And then people, they say, drown in the basement. How did, where did all that water come from? The ocean? That, did really all that water come from just the rain pouring down on people like that? And their basements flooded with water? How? Huh? Where? I can't. I can't visualize how that was. I would have to just be, I would have to be there and see that happening. That is, was incredible. It is incredible for some water to, to flood like that. So, hey, look at, we, look at what times we living in. Does that creep you guys? Do you guys know about the New York, all that water that flooded? They wasn't expecting that. It was unprecedented. It never happened before. Wow, and then they say it's another storm coming. I don't know if it's named Henry. I don't know. Legend. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't have been watching the news like that too lately. I've been looking at been staying staying off my leg. The more I stay off, off of my leg, the better it feels. And I want to thank all my spirit boosters for all the well wishes, the the great, beautiful comments, and thank you for participating in the conversation. I thank you for all the support of all kinds. Thank you. Even the haters. Thank you guys because you did come and watch my video and you have your opinion and I don't mind your opinion. Just don't be so nasty when you share it. Just say it. What is the word? Just say it in a um I can't think of it right now. But be kind. Now, I think well Janita, you weren't kind when you was uh describing what happened to you with the delivery man well i was a little excited yes but i just want y'all to know even though i didn't share everything what the delivery man was doing but i don't want to get into that because i already made that video but you guys can have your opinion about that but just remember folks can't just be coming up in your house uninvited i don't care that ain't in his job description to force think you about to come up in here and yes, I'm injured. My husband, he he just like a few. What the hell? And just we just in shock when somebody would just disrespect us like that. Cause we don't disrespect delivery people. We treat our delivery people good, well. And during the holidays or whatever, we give them presents. Yes, we do. That's why we have some great delivery people, minus the disgruntled one, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> Okay, well anyway, y'all know I just flip from subject to subject. Just want to shout out to all my spirit boosters. Thank you guys for supporting this channel and keep coming back and checking out what I'm doing because I'm over here crazy ass, keep on buying all this stuff. <laughs> you should see the place. It's pretty all, you know, cluttered. It's not like, let me sit, let me straighten this out right now. It's not hoarding because I am organizing my stuff and it goes on the shelf and it goes in this spot, whatever. So I'm not hoarding. I don't have it where you can't walk through the house. <laughs> Are you walking over food? Oh, hell no. You ain't about to walk over my food. You ain't about to destroy any of my products. So no. Hoarding in the way of buying several things now. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to let y'all go because I just get to talking and stuff. I feel comfortable talking to y'all, and some of y'all probably be listening, and then other y'all be like, damn, just shut up, just show the shit. Okay, I'm gone. I hope this grocery haul was a pleasure to watch, and I hope it helped you guys remember something that you might have forgot to get from the store. Once again, thanks for watching.